The only piece of equipment that you need is a wall. That's it. And we're going to do a variety of strength, stretch, or stretch strength moves using the wall. The first one is the heel toe raise. So I'm going to place my butt, my bum, on the wall. My feet are out a little bit and my legs are shoulder width apart. If you want to put your shoulder blades on the wall, you can. Just rest against the wall, legs out a little bit and lift up your toes and the balls of your feet. Point your toes to the sky or the ceiling and balance on your heels. For how long? Three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you can handle. And then back to neutral, rest, feet flat. Let's do it again. Up we go. Remember, your bum is touching the wall, your shoulder blades maybe, and your feet are out a little bit and your legs are shoulder width apart. Rest. One more time when you're ready. Up. The heel toe raise. Well, this is just the toe raise. Now I'm going to turn around, rest, and maybe hold on to the wall, probably. You'll just see me from the back, and I'm going to come up on the balls of my feet and my toe. My posture is important. The wall squat. Legs out. Bum touching. Shoulder blades touching. Let's get our legs farther apart though. And turn them on a bit of an angle outwards. And then when you're ready, remember, my feet are away from the wall a little bit. The farther you get your feet out, probably the whole exercise will be easier. But let's just slide down the wall to wherever you can go. Make sure your knees are over top of your feet. Maybe a little lower. So my bum's touching. My shoulder blades are touching. My feet are wide apart legs wide apart. My knees are over top of my toes that are out, out on an angle there. And hold it there. How long? Three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Slowly come back up. Let me just see where I'm at here. Let me just take my feet out a little further from the wall. They're on a little bit of an angle, but they're really wide. Feet are. Touch with the bum, touch with the shoulder blades this way. This little routine will make your lower body from your hips right down to the bottom of your feet really strong. It doesn't require much, but you have to face the wall and hold on to it so your posture is the best it can be. You take one leg, not too far away, and take one leg and put the knee on the wall as high as you can and the toe too and face the wall and hold it there. Let's try the other side. Standing up nice and tall. Good. Now we're going to take one foot and put it maybe a half a foot from the wall. And take the other leg and put the foot flat back behind the other leg. And then just push the front knee into the wall, keeping the back heel down. Stand up straight. Let's try the other side. So my foot's away from the wall a little bit. The farther this leg is away from the wall, the harder it will be to get the knee to touch the wall. So the legs are apart. Notice both feet are flat. Stand up tall.
Good. And then the last part to this is line up your heel with your toe so your legs are apart and the one foot's in front of the other one and the heel's lined up with the toe. So I'll do it this way so you can see it here. Do you need a wall for this? No, but I like to use the wall because I want to just lower my body down like an elevator as low as I can go, push my feet into the ground, keep my back straight, and hold on to the wall for better posture. And then switch legs, line up the heel to the toe, and lower yourself down like an elevator, sit into the chair that isn't there, and hold onto the wall for support, best posture. And then the last part to this little routine is holding onto the wall, it doesn't matter which way you face, so stand up nice and tall, and it doesn't matter which leg you lift, but take the foot off the ground. You can put it anywhere you want to put it. You don't have to move it. Just get one foot off the ground and balance. All your weight is on the other leg and hold on to the wall if you have to. If you want to practice letting go, that's it for you. Good switch. The last exercise is a standing bird dog. You're going to face the wall. your hands on it. Take one leg, keep it straight. Let me move here. One leg straight and you're on your toe. Well, I have to really straighten that leg. Right. The opposite arm comes up the wall as high as you can reach. And hold it there. So if you want to try, you can let go of this arm and have it straight out, palm facing back. Or you can just stay in this position here. Let's try the other side. So we're not far from the wall, feet shoulder width apart, one leg back on your toe, really straighten that leg. Try not to bend your leg here, keep it straight. Good. And then the opposite arm, opposite eye is going to go. And then maybe out like this. 